What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel, welcome to another Pokemon Sword and Shield VGC 2022 video. Uh, I know it's, you know, I, I'm, I'm a little quiet today, it's because it's pretty early here and I don't, I don't want to wake anyone up, uh, but I, I need to get a video out because I'm going to a 4th of July party today and I leave in like two hours, so I threw a team together, just an idea I had a few days ago, uh, and we're just going to be using it on my alt account and we're going to see how many games we can win with it. But if you guys enjoy this name point in time, do me a favor, leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications because I bring you daily VGC content, except for tomorrow, probably not, sorry about that, just watch the clip channel, link in the description, you'll get your video there. Anyways, <laughs> so, uh, I guess question of the day, uh, what Gigantamax do you want me to use before this uh, series ends? Because, obviously, you know, Worlds is around the corner, and we're running out of time to use all the Gigantamax. I've used pretty much everything once, except for a few Pokemon, I think, uh, but today we're going to be checking one off the list. I'm pretty sure I've used it before, but we're using Gmax Lapras. So, Gmax Lapras is actually uh, pretty interesting. Uh, it's a water immune Pokemon that does pretty decently into, you know, I'm going to drop this for freeze dry so I don't lose to Kyogre, uh, that does pretty decently into Kyogre because it's immune to most of its hits and it has that option of freeze dry. Um, and it's usually used for its G-Max move, which will, uh, set up the Aurora Veil, Look, basically just, you know, dual screens, uh, immediately. Um, however... I, rather than going for the light clay, I'm actually going to go for weakness policy because I think it has to be offensive in this format to do anything. Uh, we're calced, so our max guys are at plus two, a one shot opposing Zacian. Uh, but also, we're using double dog today because I think it is a pretty interesting combination. Uh, and we do have a lot of tools to deal with things that would normally stomp on double dog, like, you know, Kyogre or Groudon. We have enough tools for that. Uh, but we're using a bulky Zacian crown set, Rusted Sword, Behemoth Blade, Play Rough, Sacred Sword, and Protect. Uh, we have enough speed where at plus one we're going to outspeed Regieleki. We have a slightly faster Zamazenta crowned. Uh, we have Close Combat, Behemoth Bash, Snarl, and Coaching, which if you coach into a Zacian, they're not going to have a good time. Uh, our Lapras is running Hydro Pump, Freeze Dry, Parish Song, and Helping Hand, but I kind of want to drop Parish, or not Parish Song, uh, I kind of want to drop Helping Hand for Icy Wind. Uh, however, Parish Song and Helping Hand have been pretty nice in testing. We have a White Herb Landris standard set. We have a Triage Comfe calced to uh, take a Behemoth Blade from Jolly Max Taxation after the Babiri Berry. And of course, we have Prankster Thunderous because Rain Dance is a very fun move to use to stomp on Groudon. But yeah, whether we get a lot of wins or a lot of losses today, Let's just go ahead and grab some games. I need to get a video out. <laughs> but yeah. So, um, I don't know. There are a lot of like Pokemon in this format I want to take a look at. Uh, honestly, it kind of sucks that we don't have all the Pokemon in the game because it would have allowed me to experiment more. Uh, but it's it's whatever. Anyways, let's see. Uh, full disclosure, when I said I did well in testing, I mean I played one game. This is going to be my second game with this team. <laughs> but we're facing a Kyogreization team. Uh, honestly, this Lapras looks like a nightmare for them if I can deal with Kartana, which we do have the tools to do that. Uh, I think I will want to just go ahead and lead off with, like, Lapras Comfe. Uh, and that shouldn't be a bad idea, honestly. Zamazento on lead also isn't terrible because we do have access to Snarl. Um, you know, let's play a little bit passively. I want to wait for their Dynamax to end, so we're going to go, like, Thunderous plus... I think Thunderousation is, like, a fine lead. And we lead, and then we bring Lapras Comfe in the back. Yeah. So this will allow me to go for a Thunder Wave on their Zacian, which, as we all know, is the best move in the game. A Taunt wouldn't be ideal. Uh, however, I at the very least can stomp on this Tornadus. Or maybe I just get rid of Tornadus here and just... Because I'm not going to lose my Thunderous at the very least. Yeah, I'm just going to double down the Tornadus because there's no way I get one shot here. They're going to Tailwind, so that does mean that next turn I can go for my Thunder Wave onto their Zacian. I'm going to get some health back. That's going to allow me to take another Behemoth Blade. It's going to bring them down to their Sash, and the T-Bolt will pick up the KO. And now, of course, you know, we do have our funny moves that are very funny and very fun to use. I'm going to go ahead and actually Eerie Impulse this guy because I don't want to have to deal with you for a while. Uh, and I should probably just protect the Zacian here. There we go. No Dynamax yet. I was kind of hoping they would waste Dynamax there, though. All right, cool. Uh, and that is going to allow me to go for the Thunder Wave onto their Zacian uh, and go ahead and lock in a Behemoth Blade here because I will take whatever this Kyogre wants to go for at minus two. However, I need to outspeed that Zacian, which honestly, not, not entirely likely we'll get it off. Here's the T-Wave. That's amazing. They get fully paralyzed. Best move in the game. And now they should be very, very scared because I can Thunder Wave their Kartana too and go for this uh, Behemoth Blade. Actually, maybe I just want to focus down their Kartana. 
Kartana is the most annoying Pokemon for me. Let's let's just Thunder Wave Sacred Sword. Because if I get two Sacred Swords off, I KO the Kartana, and then we're like in a really good spot. There's the B-Blade. They're going to knock out my Thundee. That's fine. Sacred Sword will one-shot because it looks like they were Assault Vest. And now they have a lot of trouble dealing with this. Uh, obviously, at plus two speed, I'm not going to be faster than their uh, Zacian. But unless they're Scarf, uh, they're going to have a real rough time versus this. Let's go ahead and lock in Max Geyser here. And um, we'll actually go ahead and let's play her off the Kyogre. They go for the Water Spout. I'm completely immune. Zacian's going to tank it. So it looks like they're like timid Water Spout. They get fully paralyzed. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sorry, buddy. Let's go for the resonance. Nice. GG. Okay. Let's get another. Ooh, okay. Shedinja. Now, I don't have a lot of ways of dealing with Shedinja. As a matter of fact, I think I have two. <laughs> actually, no, I have three. Dude, Lapras can actually win this game for us. Lapras can win can win this game for us if I can uh, get a Paris Long off. So I think I do want to bring Melanders to this game. Obviously, Kartana is a little bit annoying. Uh, however, uh, I think Lapras is going to be very good. Especially if I get a Trick Room off. Let's go ahead. Uh, do I want to go ahead and lead off Zacian here? You know what? I'm, I'm going to go with a very similar lead. To, nah, I need to go Lapras. I'm going to go Lapras Comfey. Screw it. We haven't used it yet. Obviously, it's the second battle in the video, but we haven't used it yet, so I have to use it. Uh, let's go ahead and bring the Zamazenta as well, because Snarl is going to be very useful this game, and we'll bring our Zacian. Okay, they end up leading off with uh, Zacian Thunderous, which is a little bit annoying because if it is uh, support Thunderous, they are going to be able to knock me out. However, however, I'm going to pretend like they can't. We're just going to hope. <laughs> We're just going to hope. All right, Eerie Impulse makes sense. I do get my Trick Room off. Um, and this is fine. I'm going to be able to KO this Thunderous with, because I'm going to Giga Drain myself. They're going to Eerie Impulse me, but I'm going to KO it. I hope. I don't know if this KOs. It should come pretty close. And not quite there. However, I can go for Max Guard into Draining Kiss. And I'm going to waste like all my Dynamax turns here. I'm sorry. But I need to make sure I don't get Eerie Impulse. Okay. I'm going to get Eerie Impulse, aren't I? I'm just going to get stuck Eerie Impulse. Uh, let's go ahead and... How much should my draining guess do? 14%? Check this out. The optimal play. This is the optimal play. Oh, well that didn't work. <laughs> that, that definitely didn't work. Okay, uh, let me think. I mean... I definitely don't want to go for Parish Song now, but I also don't want to lose my Zamazenta. Let's go Zamazenta here. I'm going to go Zacian. We have one turn left at Trick Room. And I should be able to go for like a... I need a Coaching now. I think I have to Coaching now if I want a chance. Yeah. Okay. I'll Protect here. I'll go for my Snarl. In case they go into Kyogre. That's very useful. Maybe I should have gone with like Light Clay. All right, as long as I don't get fully paralyzed, we'll be good. Because I did hold on to the Lapras, which we can Parish Song on that shit engine in a minute. But it does come down to speed tiers now, because I can't, like, Trick Room to make sure it goes. Uh, it, it, gets, it gets KO'd first. Alright, there's a T-Wave. Hopefully I don't get fully parried. That did a lot. Nice, okay. Not the end of the world now. Because I threatened, like, a one-shot on Kyogre. Or at the very least, I come close. Let's go ahead and... Ooh, you know what I can do here? I'm going to get some health back on my Lapras, because I think they just want to, like, Water Spout or Max Geyser or something. Oh, no, they're not going to Water Spout. Well, we lost the Lapras. <laughs> Honestly, that was that was probably that was probably a very dumb play of me. That was that was probably a very dumb play, now that I think about it. Okay. You know what? I think if I just, like, hadn't given up my Lapras there, I won. I'm pretty sure I would have won there. GG. I'm stupid. I'm, I'm a little stupid at times.
Okay, uh, here we see Palkia, Calyrex Ice, uh, a lot of annoying Trick Room stuff. However, uh, Lapras does wall out like half their team. The only issue is it's going to be a very like stale game, like we're going to be sitting here for a minute. Is there any way I can speed this up? Um, I definitely have to lead off Lapras to be honest. I think Lapras Comfy is fine. We have to go for that weakness policy like immediately. Uh, and I think in the back we are just going to go Zacia and Zamazenta once more. Yep. Okay, so what this is going to let me do is... I'm going to immediately drop a Max Geyser on this Hitmontop because it's the most annoying thing in the field. Coaching. Alright, well you're annoying. Nice. Uh, Amoongus? Yes, okay. I mean, I'm a, I'm a pretty bulky comfy. I might be able to reverse the Trick Room here. Let's see if I tank. Yep, cool. Trick Room reversed. Uh, Calyrex Nanade. I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, do I want to max Resonance? I could also max Geyser this Calyrex and basically win the game right here. I could basically win the game right here if he goes for a... You know, I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for it. And I think I might Trick Room as well to reverse the Trick Room in case he does go for it. Like a Rage Powder Trick Room. Yep, he Rage Powder Trick Room, so I get to reverse it. Nice. Alright. Not the end of the world. Let's go ahead and Freeze Dry you. And get in my Zamazenta, because that seems actually very good here. Protects, that's fine. Ish. <laughs> okay. Um, I mean, I can just go for the Parish. Alright, I tank so I can Behemoth Bash this guy. It looks like I need to get a Parish Song off to win this game now. Let's go for another Parish. I need Pokemon with access to protect. Parish Song. I'd rather sack the... I think I just sack the Zam here and attempt to Snarl. Alright, Lapras, I need you to wake up. Come on, buddy. Nope. Okay, Lapras, this is pretty much your last shot. Because I can Floral Healing, hopefully get you to a point where you live. Hydro Pump. Come on, buddy. Ah, uh, yeah, no no shot. Okay. Uh, I mean, it's not unwinnable. It's unlikely, don't get me wrong. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, let me think here. I pretty much have to Behemoth Blade you. Even if you like Trick Room, it's like, I have no choice. Because I can tank a second flamethrower, but I can't, like, allow this Calyrex. It's probably going to live, to be honest. Yeah. Alright, GG. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, I mean, had I gotten that Parish Song off, I think it would have been fine. Um... Oh, but it's whatever. This is initial testing for a team. Their team pretty much hates my Thundy. Uh, we'll go Thundy here. I think Thundy plus Thundy plus Zam isn't bad. Uh, Zacian in the back. And I think this is going to be... We haven't faced Sun yet, and I really want to face Sun. And I think I'm going to bring the... Uh, do I want to bring Comfey in the back? Comfey in the back doesn't seem bad. I mean, I get healing on like my Thundy. Or on my Zam. Uh, let's try it out. I don't like facing Rillaboom with, uh, <laughs> with Lapras. All right. I'd imagine here, uh, they probably just want to lead off with like either Kyogre or Rillaboom, maybe both. Um, yeah, I mean, I think Kyogre or Rillaboom is like a fine lead. Zapdos as well is also pretty decent on lead. Yeah. All right. 
not the end of the world here because I can actually go for an eerie impulse onto you and be annoying, especially if you want to Dynamax here. Um, and ooh, do I want a coaching my Thunderous to just be the most annoying Thunderous on Earth? Probably not. But I also don't hate that. Yeah, I definitely want an Eerie Impulse here because I think they do want a Dynamax there. There's Aptos, assuming that I'm like Offensive Thundy. And let's just go for a Behemoth Bash. Yep. They play rough. Oh, that one shots. Okay. That's yeah, not terrible though. Airstream more or less bounces off of me. However, they are getting pretty fast now. Uh, let's go into my Zacian. Let's go ahead and Behemoth Blade. I can try a coaching. I don't think I'm going to get it off. Because <laughs> I'm not sure if I can take a Sacred Sword into a, a Max Airstream now. Behemoth Blade. Okay. Uh, Yeah, that's fine. So we're going to KO here. And I'm actually probably going to go into Comfe. There's the Incineroar, yeah. Uh, protect, and I think I go Comfe here, because I definitely want some healing on my guy. Doesn't KO, sweet. Let's go for the Floral healing. Um, if Zapdos is running... Rising Voltage, that could be pretty annoying. And I don't know if the uh, the Incineroar is going to be in Sacred Sword range. Alright, that's fine. We're going to get good damage off here. Hurricane, connects, don't confuse. Cool. It's pretty good damage. Uh, let's go ahead and Floral Healing again and just go for a second Sacred Sword. I should actually probably just play rough. Yeah. T-Bolt. No para. I missed my play rough. That really sucks. Let's play rough again. Floral healing. I mean, they may protect now. Alright, there's the Incineroar. He doesn't quite like this anyways. Cool. Uh, I'm going to protect and go into my Zam. Because Zam is actually quite good in this situation. Especially since they, you know, paralyzed my Comfey. Uh, I would like to be able to go for another coaching to get my Zacian back up. T Bolt. I go for the parting shot. I protect. Nice. Uh, I'm getting a little bit concerned with the Zapdos, to be honest, but I can just Sacred Sword coaching now, and I don't think that's a bad idea. As long as I don't get paralyzed in either of my Mons, I should be in a good position. Roost. I don't know why you click that. Let's get that KO. Nice. And I think I just win here as long as nothing, get par nothing gets paralyzed, but even then, uh, close combat from, you know, Zamazenta will do the job. Uh, let's, yep. All right, nice. Forfeit. Cool. <laughs> Managed to pick one up there. What are we? We're like two and two now, right? Oh, okay. Here's Sun. So this is the one I was really interested in trying out versus this team. Uh, because I should be able to just go like Lapras Thundee here. And that's like the exciting part. I think Lapras Thundee is actually really solid into this. Uh, and I go Lando in the back and Zacian. That should be fun. I could even go Comfe, but then I don't have a Restricted and that's probably really bad. <laughs> Especially when uh, we're facing off versus Grimmsnarl. I think... Uh, I think Zacian's a little bit hard to pass up there. Let's hit him with the timer. They're thinking, they're like, dang, is that double dog? I double dog dare you not to lead off with it. That's what they're thinking.
dang just a lot of dead air i mean i could talk more but honestly there's not much to say about this match i just i just like am hoping that i can lead off with thunderous and click rain dance and have fun there we go okay Galarex Shadow, Venusaur, honestly, that's a fine lead. That, that right there, that's a fine lead right there. Uh, let's go for the G-Max Resonance as well as a Thunder Wave into the Venusaur. I'm pretty bulky, so both of my guys take it. I'm not going to eat my berry yet, though. G-Max Resonance, there's Sash. Let's see if I can dodge. Nice, okay. Fair and balanced, as all things should be. Let's go for the geyser into Venusaur, as well as an Eerie Impulse into Kali. I should be able to take pretty much everything now. You haven't, I haven't seen Life Orb Kali in a long time. I really haven't seen that in a long time. I could also Rain Dance to be safe. Eh, maybe I should have Rain Danced. <laughs> Or maybe I can just dodge again. Check it. Eh, close enough. <laughs> I mean, I was sitting there for a minute. I'm like, maybe I do just rain dance, but I didn't think it was worth it. Okay. So here in this situation, I'm going to keep it real with you guys. Uh, I don't care for much that they could do. I think a max geyser into Groudon is probably my best play, as well as uh, an eerie impulse into this Charizard. All right, cool. Goes for the rock too, that's fine. Nice, I KO. Uh, and I'm, we're gonna get the first Parish Song win of this of this uh, video. That's gonna be real exciting actually. Okay, uh, let me go ahead and Parish Song and I probably am gonna, be, I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna be able to live this easiest if I Eerie Impulse you. All right, come on, Pear Song. There's no way I get one shot here, right? Let's go, okay. So now I just have to play really, really defensively, which I don't know if I can. Uh, Lapras has Protect though, okay. Let's go Zacian here, and... Oh, I don't know if I can survive three turns. I don't know, guys, this is a little scary. I might have messed up. Let's go Zacian, let's fly. Okay, I think I got it. I just have to be able to protect in one turn. Oh no, they doubled the right Pokemon. I double protect, but I lose the Lapras anyways. Oh wait, Lapras doesn't have protect, I'm stupid. Oh my God, I'm so dumb. I need to be able to get off a double protect. Okay, you got this. Ready? <laughs> GG. <laughs> nice try. Gotcha. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Oh wait, no, I lost. Oh, I'm so stupid. Wait, does it do 15%? I'm so stupid, guys. This is why I shouldn't record in the morning when I'm tired, but it's fine. This was a fun video. This is a fun video. Um, Is the team good? No, but I did just slap it together. Anyways, I just thought I'd get something out for you guys today before I went off. Happy 4th of July, if you're in the U.S. Um, I guess, you know, happy 4th of July if you're not as well. Enjoy your Monday when, you know, tomorrow comes around. But yeah, I'll see you in the next one.